Hello everybody, this is Jonathan Gardner, and this is part of my Theory of Python series. I'm going to talk really quickly in this section about Python versions, um, why that's important, which version I'm talking about, which version you might encounter out in the wild, and what it all means. So a really quick review of the Python versions, you're going to have a major version number, dot a minor version number, and then you're going to have a release number. Python uh, has been pretty good about following the paradigm for this thing. So when the release number in increments, that's just another release, usually just bug fixes and small minor tweaks that are always backwards compatible. The minor releases tend to have bigger features, and so a lot more effort goes into them. You get them about once a year or so. And these also uh, tend to be backwards compatible. And the major releases are where they might make breaking changes. Okay, so you might have heard about the whole Python 2 to Python 3 thing that happened recently. Well, not so recently. It's been happening for like the past, wow, long time. Let's talk about the version numbers that we've seen. So 1.5, this was released back in 1999, okay? And this is kind of the first version of Python that really hit prime time. People started using Python with this. Uh, 2.0 came out not too long after that in about 2001. 2.5, I remember this version. It was a pretty big deal in 2006. There was a lot of new features that came with 2.5. Uh, 2.6 and 3.0. So this is what is famously called uh, Python 3000. Okay, this happened in 2008. Now Python 3.0, which we'll talk about in a second, was a huge deal. Okay, it turned out to be a bigger deal than everybody expected. 2.7 is the current uh, major minor version that we're on with the 2 series. And that came out in 2010, right? This is over nine years ago. And as of 2020, this is going to be deprecated. That means that Python will no longer support it. It's done, okay? So if you're still using 2.7 at your company or whatever you're doing, you need to upgrade to Python 3, okay? 3.0, 3.0 came out the same time, 2008. And there were some major changes that had um, significant impact. Uh, there was integer division, which we'll cover in the syntax, if I can spell division correctly, there's D-I-V-I-S-O-N. Um, then there was also uh, the Unicode changes. So Unicode is now string. So basically what was the string type in Python now became the bytes type. And what was Unicode now became the string type. And this turned out to be a bigger change than anybody anticipated. It's a good change, but it was very painful to go through this process. And if you're in the process of upgrading 2.7 to 3.0, this is what you're gonna spend the majority of your time fixing. It's not very difficult to do, but it does take some time to get everything right, okay? So 3.0, 3.1 came out uh, in 2009, I think. 3.2 was 2011. And then 3.3, 2012, you can see there's pretty regular releases here. Uh, let's scroll up a little bit more there. 3.4 came out in 2014. And then 3.5, I remember 3.5 is when uh, 3.0 really started to look good. I think this is when it, somewhere around this time period, uh, three, Python 3 became faster than Python 2, or at least comparable. And then 3.6, I'm running out of room here. 3.6 came out in 2016, and I remember 3.6, there's a lot of little new features in there. I'm not gonna go into any of those features, but there was a lot of new features that came out 3.6 that made it very exciting. In fact, when 3.6 came out, a lot of people in the 2.7 community that were stuck to 2.7, they said, we really need to go to 3.6 to get these features. Um, some of the features were backported, but most of them could not be. And uh, 3.7, this came out not too long ago, on uh, 2018, June. I think the official date was June 27th, 2018. Right, I'm using American style dates. We'll talk about date format one of these one of these videos. Make a note, ISO 8601. <laughs> we'll make a video on ISO 8601. All right, then we have the current version is 3.73, and right now it is June of 2018. Um, so this actually came out on March 25th of 2019. I'm sorry, it's June of 2019 and it came out March 25th of 2019, and 3.7.4 is in the works right now. So this is in, de in development and testing. So you can read about what's new with 3.7.4, and I think there's a 3.8 out there. Yeah, there is a 3.8. So 3.8 is also in the works. You can read about the new features of 3.8. There's a couple new features that are pretty interesting that I would like to see. Okay, 
What happened with Python 2 to Python 3? Well, we knew that there was going to be some breaking changes. There's another project out there you might have heard of called Perl, and they had a new version of Perl called Perl 6. And Perl 6 was a huge di di what is it, diversion or digression from Perl 5. Lots and lots of changes to the syntax and stuff like that with Perl 6. And I think today still Perl 5 and Perl 6 are considered separate languages because of the major changes. Well, um, uh, Guido van Rossum that runs the Python project and the Python project members, they did not want to repeat that episode. And so when they did this Python 3000, the idea was that they're going to make uh, significant but not really intrusive changes, right? The idea was that it should be a very easy upgrade path from 2 to 3, and we don't want people to stay on 2 for the next 10 years. Well, they kind of failed in that because it's 2019. People are still using 2.7. So uh, among all the changes they introduced, they were supposed to be very minor and simple changes, but this one, this Unicode change, really stood out and made it difficult for people to upgrade. It made it difficult for people to maintain uh, Python that worked for both Python 2 and Python 3. Today, thankfully, Python 2.7, it's, it's almost a sin to tell people about Python 2.7. Really, um, I'm not going to spend very much time at all on 2.7. If you do have questions about Python 2.7, then please ask them, and I'll try to answer them the best I can. What is the future going to hold? There is... There are some rumors. Some people say that after 3.9, we're going to go to 4.0. But then again, some people said that after 3.7, we were going to go to 4.0, but we already have 3.8 in the works. Okay. And another thing, too, is that there will probably never be another repeat of the Python 3 um, uh, issue, Python 3 episode, because um, we... Upgrading people that require significant changes to their code is very difficult. And so if they're ever going to do something like that, they're going to do it piecemeal over the span of decades so that you can gently phase out the old code and bring the new code in. So anyway, um, that's about all there is with the Python version. So my videos will focus on Python 3.7, specifically Python 3.7.3. Let me write that over here. So we are doing 3.7 and specifically right now 3.7.3. By the time you're watching these videos, I don't know how long before you'll see these videos or how long I'll leave them up, but uh, Python will probably be on a different version. And so some of the stuff I say might not be quite correct for the version of Python you're using. You need to check the documentation. Anyway, guys, I hope this video was informative and useful. Take care and bye-bye. This video was part of a series on the theory of Python. You can click on the left to see the playlist and on the right to support my channel. Thank you very much for your time.